interquartile range. The interquartile range is a measure of variability or in other words spread that's useful when there are extreme values also known as outliers in the data. Now the interquartile range, which we can write as IQR, is equal to the third quartile minus the first quartile. Now remember, the third quartile is equal to the 75th percentile and the first quartile is equal to the 25th percentile. Now let's look at an example. Suppose we have the values 27, 25, 20, 15, 30, 34, 28, and 25. Now the first thing we have to do is calculate the third quartile and the first quartile. So let's start with the third quartile or 75th percentile. So we have to take the same steps we would take to calculate the 75th percentile. That is, we would start by arranging the data from smallest to largest. So we have 15, 20, 25, 25, 27, 28, 30, and 34. Then we calculate the index using 75, and there are eight values. So 75 over 100 times 8 is going to be equal to 6. Now since our index is an integer, we want to average the values in positions 6 and 7. So let's number our values so we know their positions. So from here, we get that the third quartile is going to be 28 plus 30 divided by 2, which is equal to 29. Now let's calculate the first quartile, or the 25th percentile. So we use 25. So 25 over 100 times 8 is going to be equal to 2. Uh, since our index is an integer, we average the values in positions 2 and 3. So we get that the first quartile is equal to 20 plus 25 divided by 2, which is equal to 22.5. So our interquartile range is going to be equal to 29 minus 22.5, which is going to be equal to 6.5. Now let's demonstrate why the interquartile range does a good job of measuring variability when there are extreme values in the data. So let's change one of the values in the data from 34 to 340. Now the range of the data in our original data set would be 34 minus 15, which is equal to 19. In the new data set with the extreme value, the range would be equal to 
340 minus 15, which is equal to 325. So with an outlier in the data, the range went up from 19 to 325. Now the inner quartile range of the original data was 6.5. In the new data set, where 34 turns into 340, the inner quartile range is still going to be 6.5. So the inner quartile range is unchanged when we have that one extreme value in the data. That's why we say the inner quartile range does a good job of measuring variability when there are extreme values in the data.